In the year 2010, there were many meaningful developments in the Palestinian arena. The civilian policy towards the Gaza Strip was expanded in order to enable improvement in the residents' quality of life despite the continuation of terror attacks conducted by Hamas, which seized control over the Gaza Strip in 2007. In Judea and Samaria, the trend of economic growth and development continued as a result of increased freedom of movement, the easing of restrictions, ongoing coordination between Israel and the Palestinian Authority, and a stable security environment. In the Gaza Strip, Hamas strengthened its rule as it continued to dispatch terror attacks against Israel. During the year, more than 230 rockets and mortar shells were launched at Israeli towns, communities and the land crossings. The terror attacks continued despite Israel's new expanded policy. Gilad Shalit continues to be held captive by Hamas. After more than four years since he was captured, he has not been allowed a single visit by any international representative. Throughout 2010, Hamas continued its efforts to create the impression of a humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip and to delegitimize Israel's policy. Throughout the year, Kogat, the coordinator of government activities in the territories, maintained contact with representatives of the international community, the PA and the business community. Hundreds of meetings took place at the Eres Coordination and Liaison Administration to determine and meet the needs of the population in Gaza, with an emphasis on coordinating the movement of people and goods through the land crossings. On June 20, 2010, the Israeli government decided to liberalize the civilian policy towards the Gaza Strip. Implementation of the policy under the direction of Kogat led to a 30% increase in the quantity of goods delivered into Gaza including items such as private vehicles, raw materials for industry, electrical products and furniture. At the same time, work began to upgrade infrastructure at the land crossings. The Crossings Authority of the Ministry of Defense invested tens of millions of new Israeli shekels to upgrade both the Palestinian and the Israeli side of Kerem Shalom crossing. In November 2010, approval was given to the export from Gaza to European markets and will continue to expand gradually. Since the beginning of 2010, 121 internationally funded projects were approved authorized by the Palestinian Authority in education, infrastructure, welfare, agriculture, health and housing. So far, 19 of these projects have been completed and 35 more are in various stages of implementation. In order to facilitate implementation of the projects, COGAT and the international community established a joint mechanism to coordinate, supervise and carry out projects while monitoring construction materials entering the Gaza Strip. During 2010, Kogat coordinated the passage of 27,500 Palestinians from Gaza to Israel, among them 18,000 patients and their companions for medical treatment in Israel, Judea and Samaria, and continued the transfer of medical equipment in accordance with the PA's requests. Delegations of doctors were permitted to enter the Gaza Strip and physicians from Gaza were allowed to attend courses and conventions in Israel. There was a significant increase in the number of businessmen who traveled from Gaza to Israel, Judea and Samaria and abroad, as well as in the number of Gaza farmers who took part in training courses in Israel. There was also a rise in agricultural inputs being transferred into the Gaza Strip. The expansion of the civil policy has led to the opening of many businesses and factories and in turn to a 1% reduction in unemployment compared to 2009. The improved economic situation in the Gaza Strip led to an 11% rise in GDP since the beginning of 2010.
In Judea and Samaria, economic growth continued due to the stable security situation and the ongoing coordination between Israel and the Palestinian Authority. The steps and measures implemented by Israel during 2010 have contributed to the growth of the Palestinian economy and to an improved standard of living for local Palestinians. Security coordination between Israel and the PA continued in 2010 and the hundreds of joint meetings that took place on various levels contributed to stability, enhanced the daily lives of the Palestinian population and fostered a sense of security among the population. In 2010, Israel continued its policy of expanding freedom of movement in Judea and Samaria. To that end, 98 roadblocks were removed, many roads were opened, the hours of operation at the land crossings and checkpoints were extended, and infrastructure at the land crossings was upgraded. During the year, there was a 42% increase in the number of permits issued for entry into Israel and more than 30,000 Palestinian children and adolescents came to Israel on organized trips at the request of various aid organizations. In 2010, 175,000 patients and companions, 7,900 of them children, were allowed into Israel from Judea and Samaria for medical treatment. Cooperation between Israel and Palestinian medical systems continued. Joint professional courses were held and internship programs for Palestinian physicians took place at Israeli hospitals. Israel attaches great value to the freedom of religious worship. In 2010, Kogat made special arrangements for the Christian and Muslim populations. Hundreds of thousands of Muslims were allowed to pray on the Temple Mount and over 15,000 Christian pilgrims took part in ceremonies at the Qasr al yahud baptismal site and at other religious sites. During the Christmas season, hundreds of thousands visited Bethlehem and Jericho. Developments in Judea and Samaria led to a surge in tourism, leading to a 48% rise in the number of tourists compared to 2009. For the first time since 2000, 200 Israeli tour guides were allowed into Bethlehem and Jericho, yet another step designed to strengthen the tourism industry in Judea and Samaria. During the year, over 4 million Israeli Arabs visited cities in Judea and Samaria, contributing revenue of hundreds of millions of Israeli shekels to local businesses. In order to facilitate these visits, the crossings extended their hours of operation and remained open on weekends. The economy in Judea and Samaria continued to grow in 2010. There was a 2.5% rise in GDP and a decrease in the unemployment rate, reinforcing the positive trend of the last few years. Economic ties between Judea and Samaria and Israel were strengthened and trade between them increased. More than 46,000 commercial permits were issued to merchants for entry into Israel and more than 51,000 Palestinian workers were employed by Israeli employers. Frequencies were allocated to Wutaniya Telecom, a cellular phone company which has more than 400,000 subscribers. Importation of cement and private vehicles increased and there was a 6% rise in the amount of back-to-back -back cargo transfers at the land crossings. Cooperation is continuing in other areas, among them agriculture. The Israeli and Palestinian authorities, supported by the international community, are working on establishing Palestinian veterinary services that will meet the World Organization for Animal Health demands and allow the continued marketing of animal products from Judea and Samaria in Israel. In 2010, the civil administration prioritized the improvement of infrastructure and roads in Palestinian villages and increased the supply of electricity to Palestinian villages, connecting an additional three to the grid. 37 water projects were approved, including the drilling of new water wells to increase access to drinking water. 21 roads were approved for paving and repairing. Environmental issues are a mutual regional interest. The development of three approved waste disposal sites went ahead, including a World Bank-funded waste disposal site in the southern part of Judea that is expected to begin operations in the second half of 2011. 
Israel is also concerned by the issue of wastewater and is promoting the construction of wastewater treatment facilities in Judea and Samaria. In 2010, more than 1,300 meetings were conducted between COGAT and international community representatives. The purpose of these meetings was to assess and review the situation in Judea, Samaria and the Gaza Strip, and to promote international projects and aid programs. This positive relationship will continue to be maintained and strengthened in 2011. The Palestinian arena presents many challenges. The exit that took place in 2010 will continue in 2011 in coordination and cooperation with the international community and the Palestinian Authority.